know what I am. Yeah. I know what I am. I am a sneakerhead. Standing on y'all, they know I'm a head. Yeezys and Nikes, it's all I wear. Copping and rocking, no reseller. Sneakerhead, sneakerhead, sneakerhead. Yeah, I know. What's cracking, YouTube? It's me, host Tim, and aka your favorite sneaker here. Once again, right now, sneaker pickup slash sneaker review. Before we get started, I need you to do me a favor. Like, subscribe, share, follow my main and my sneaker Instagram, which is in the description below, with my also my TikTok, which is in the description below. Click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you'll be notified. All right, so just got this in the mail from Nike, from sneakers, matter of fact. I'm pretty upset about this because they're just sitting. I've seen this shoe in so many different stores, and I could have used my discount. I paid the price. It was not something I wanted to pay. I hate paying retail for shoes. But it, I really didn't want the shoes, so let's get straight to it. Uh, first of all, they gave us this special, not special, special box, but they changed the bottom color. Um, the, the typical black lid, Jordan right there with the Jumpman right there, but now they gave us the white bottom. Um, Nike Air white right there on the side and on the back, or the front and the back, excuse me. It reads, Women's Air Jordan 11 Retro, Black Gym Red Sale White. Suggested retail price is $225. That's why I didn't want to pay the retail price. $225 is. Um, oh no, you know what? Now that I think about it, I was gonna be able to use my discount. I forgot 11s, Jordan 11s, you can't use your discount. That's like the only 11 that you can't. I mean, that's like the only Jordan you can't use discounts for. So I would have been paying retail anyway. I just thought about that shit. Anyway, I want mine off a of sneaker. Um size 10, because it's a women's shoe, was equivalent to eight and a half. So you know what that means? Personal pair, no reseller here. All right, get it? And without further ado, we got the Air Jordan 11 Animal Instinct. So before I get completely into this shoe, um, Jordan have been doing this. He's known to do this, doing like a little animal print shoe with that. I'm gonna give you, you can just stay on this real quick. I'm gonna show, uh, show it. The last one that I can remember is the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct. And that is these right here. Ugh, I have not worn these yet. This is a dope shoe. So this is the what, three or fours? These are the I always get misunderstand with the threes and the fours. These are these are these are fours. I wanna say threes. Yeah, threes, three, 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 three. If I'm wrong, just correct me in the, in the description or in the comments below. Anyway, so this is the last animal print shoe that I can really remember. As you can see, they both got the fur. Dope, dope shoe. I like these. I know, I'm not really looking at it. It's like, this is cheetah, this is leopard. This is dope. All right, but we're not going to get on that. All right, so I got some information off of nicekicks.com. Shout out to nicekicks.com. It reads, along with special Air Jordan 14 low women shopping, shopping pink, shocking pink, excuse me, Go check out that review. I do have that um, on my channel. We'll also be releasing a woman's only Air Jordan 11 dress in a wild animal instinct print. The premium model will be part of the Jordan brand's holiday 2021 lineup and is scheduled to arrive on Black Friday. This this is this year's Black Friday shoe. Um, the forthcoming Air Jordan 11. Oh, so, okay. This is the forthcoming. Meaning they came out with like four, um, the three other versions. I guess it's that one. and They got a 2.0 of that one. I don't know. Um, Air Jordan 11 Animal Instinct will spot a similar design as the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct. So I was right. That's the Air Jordan 3 Animal Instinct. Black new buck is used on the upper with sale pony hair. This is pony hair. Wow. Um, utilized on the mud guard. Black accents of paw prints and animal stripes is printed on the mud guard with red accents on the back tab. And the Jordan Jumpman branded on the mid middle of the tongue. The Jumpman is embossed in black with the sneaker using a white midsole and a smoky translucent outsole to help finish off the sneaker overall design. This was set to drop on Black Friday, November 26th. So like I said, I got mine on the sneakers, sneakers app, so dope. So you see this, um, like they said, that's pony, a pony fur, or whatever like that, that black and white. I, what did I actually say? I said leopard, like that. So all of a, this upper black, black laces, Join right now. 23 in the back in red. White midsole. Carbon fiber right there. Translucent body um bottom. Excuse me. Pods. Um 
Don't do. I like. The, um, I don't like just like the Jumpman and Royal Jumpman that much. It's okay. It's not all that, but I mean, it's a good shoe. I can see me right. I mean, it's a black shoe with a little, little leopard print on it, or pony, whatever you want to call it. But I like the shoe. It's a dope shoe. Let me know what y'all think about it. Was you able to get yours or sneakers? You should have been able to get yours. Like I said, I've seen this sitting everywhere. I don't know when I'm gonna wear this. I don't know what day, what month, what year. Probably, but it will not be anytime soon. But let me know about this shoe. Um, like, subscribe, share. Follow my sneaker and my main Instagram was in the description below. Follow my TikTok was in um in, which is in the description below. Excuse me. Um, click the notification bell so every time I post new content, you will be notified. And as always, from me, your host Tune, aka your favorite sneaker here, representing Tune's Kicks and the whole Tune Squad. You know what to do. Have a nice day.